Well, today on Nation, a Window Cleaners podcast, we're talking all about the closing process, how to get more people to say yes, to hear you, to know that you're the best choice, and how you can get more business. So if you're a window cleaner or just in business at all, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of episodes. It's been going on for seven and a half years now. So go listen, watch. If it's not your first time here and you're here again, thanks. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. So today, that's what we're talking about is closing the sale. And I have to start by saying... A lot of people say that they don't have, a lot of people say yes, or, you know, they get some people saying yes, and it's not all of them, and, you know, they think it's them, or they think they're going somewhere else for a cheaper price, they're, all the excuses. When in reality, the close happens from you. You're the reason you will have a 95 plus percent close rate. It's you. The closing part of it is the part that a lot of people don't have confidence in, but also have a little bit of issues with. And maybe that's you. Maybe you have not a great closing rate. Maybe you get uh, not a lot of people saying yes right away. And it all comes down to you. It comes down to the process of what you're talking about, the ideas. There's a lot in the concept of the close. And I'll tell you this, when somebody calls you and they want a quote, they say, hey, I'm looking to get my windows cleaned. They want this so bad that they found you by whatever, Google search or has your info information or is on your website or whatever, picked up their phone, dialed your number, called you to talk to a person, which as most of you know, especially the younger people, that is one of the scariest things you do is talk to somebody. Now, when you call a place to ask about pricing and that kind of thing you're sold that you want the service you're wanting to know pricing and all that you just have a couple questions and you need to know why go with them right it's the same concept if somebody's calling you they really want the service and the best thing you can do for that is to give them the service like book them like that is the end of the call that is the success for them right that's why they contacted you in the first place that's why they um, reached out and called you even though it's uncomfortable. There's so many pieces to this. What we have in our heads is this weird sales thing where, oh, I don't want to be pushy. When it's not you being pushy at all. What it's doing is, is you know that they called you because they want window cleaning. You know that you're the best person for the job, the best company, the best everything. And you know that they want what you have. Like, that's it. I, no, this is a great decision for you. Let's do it. This isn't you pushing somebody. I don't care if you think it's expensive that somebody pays $10,000 for windows to be cleaned. I don't care if, you know, it's a little old lady that's on, um, you know, a fixed income and she wants her windows cleaned. It is not up to you to decide on who this is best for. If somebody's calling you, they genuinely want this, right? So... The holdup in a lot of this is us. It's you. It's, you know, if you have people doing bids or you have uh, you answering the phones or admins or it's our job to help somebody through to the point where this thing they want, they got. Right? I want some window cleaning. I absolutely know I'm the best person for that. I'm the best company that you could possibly go with. Here's why. Let's get you booked. Awesome right? But the pushy thing comes in, in sales, and people think that they're doing some kind of better service by not being pushy. It's not being pushy. But what that does is it takes the knowledge you have of you being the best company and gives them doubt that you're the best company because you're not even, you're not even sure of your own decision. You know, if you don't get them into it, if you don't get them signed up, if you don't get them anything, you don't, yeah, just getting a weird vibe. They're not going to tell you that. 
but that is the absolute truth when it comes to closing the sale. Now, you can do estimates all day long. You can do them. I hope you're doing all phone estimates, by the way. Um, a thousand percent think that you could be doing 99.9% of your estimates right over the phone. Very fast. Getting people in, booking them, and it's done. They're like, ah, yeah, found a company. Great. Good. Done. Task is off my list. But the first thing you have to do in order to close that sale or to at least make it, the whole process make sense, is listen. And this sounds really stupid. But so many people have it already in their head, their speech, their 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 uh, talking points. They have all of that. And they instantly go to that. Now, if you don't know your USP, which I'm guaranteeing you 99% of you don't genuinely know your USP. Even if you do, by the way, it's a unique selling point. The reason why they choose you over anybody else. You want to go to that right away. But listen to what the person's saying. People will always, always tell you what you need to know by talking to them in general. Now, if you talk to somebody and they're talking, yeah, you know, um, well, uh, we just moved into this house. Um, the last people weren't so clean. So, uh, you know, we're just kind of going through and really deep cleaning everything and getting it up for us. You know, we're expecting a baby in the uh, near future. And, you know, we're just trying to get everything done. And I thought I'd call and see if I could get a quote. If somebody tells you that, you don't instantly go into, oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, we're the cheapest in town. We're, you know, we're, we're you know, they didn't say anything about that. What they said was cleanliness is big for them. They have a baby coming, so they're worried about that. They also said that they're very, very busy because they have a baby coming. They also said that they just moved into the house. They also subliminally told you that the other people were dirty, right? Listen to all the information you got by listening. So instantly, if somebody says that, I'm going into the reasons I can fix that. Yeah, absolutely. Now, of course, talking about the, the, the pricing and doing estimates and questions and stuff, but as you're talking to somebody and that's their vibe, you answer their questions that they never even asked. They told you the questions were there, but they didn't actually ask you questions, right? So I'm going to start, I was like, awesome. Yeah, we are, you know, a thorough company. We're going to clean your, you know, glass inside and outside. Um, because you're having the baby come and the, you're kind of getting this deep cleaning done from the last people and you just want to have it up to par, you should also do some deep cleaning in the sills and get the screens cleaned. Get the whole thing done. That way, you're starting with absolute clean and you're starting with fresh windows. That little bit of a line that I'm explaining to somebody answered all the questions. Like, oh yeah, I'll start it off. I say, you know, I, I see it, clean windows, me, blah, 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 right? I'm removing all their dirt. Yeah, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, if you move into a house, the other people, they get it just clean enough that they can do showings and then you really find the dirt. They're like, oh my gosh, I know you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah. Well, and that's what we do, you know. Having this baby come up, you're, you're doing a billion things trying to get ready for this and this is one thing you're not going to have to do. We can absolutely take care of that. And you go into your USP. I've answered their questions that they never asked, but I knew they were asking or that they had. And they didn't ever ask it. If you go to a route place and they're like, oh, yeah, we have a window cleaner. Uh, I don't know the last time he was here, but I think he comes maybe once a month. He's, you know, kind of hit or miss, you know, and, and they keep talking, blah, blah, blah. I heard that he's unreliable. So where's my selling point? I also know that unreliable is it's so much that they noticed it. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Well, uh, you know, having somebody already, I love loyalty. You know, we have a lot of loyal customers. I don't ever want to step on that. But let me say, we are absolutely dedicated to this company. Every one of our staff members, our scheduling is on point. We do not miss appointments. We just don't. 
We're there like rain. We are there like the post office. We are there and more reliable than any service contract you know because this is our livelihood. This is what we stake our name on. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, I just said, because the guy said, she, she said the guy didn't really show up. She said he didn't really, I don't know, the last time he was, let's get her minute. Like, he doesn't take business seriously. She mentioned it to me because it's an issue for her. She's seen it. So now I can go ahead and answer the questions she never asked. That's listening. So many people just... You know, say the exact same thing, and they're like, "Oh well, you know, we can uh, go in and we go match their price." And um, we're, and they're like, "Oh well, you know, the price is fine. I don't. I mean, I'd even pay a couple bucks more to have somebody I could know show up, right? Hear what somebody's saying. And this isn't everything. Phone conversations. This is in real life. This is in emails. This is in everything that somebody sends you. It always comes back to them letting you know what." Are the issues and if they don't which very very seldom do they not actually if you just can't get them to talk or ask ask the question yeah perfect oh absolutely we can get you a quote what what made you decide to uh, um, get window cleaning or what are you looking to get uh, window cleaning for is there a special occasion or anything find out the why ask a question they'll start talking well yeah actually um, yeah, my uh, daughter's getting married, and we're gonna have some guests here. This is in a couple months. Just want to kind of get the place spruced up, you know. And I figure, I'll get the stuff done now. And we're, you know, we got a lot to do with the wedding and the planning and the people and uh, and so much. Oh, cool! I know why they're doing it. Right? You ask that same question. They're like, well, you know, it hasn't been done in like ten years, and uh, you know, I just figured it's about time. Okay, they're casual. It's a casual thing. You know a lot by what people say, and people are going to tell you what they're thinking almost every single time. They're not going to tell you 100%. Sometimes people will keep it to themselves, and they'll have little secrets and that type of thing, but for the most part, they're going to say everything that they absolutely need to to you. And you're going to be able to take that and answer the questions that haven't been asked. And I'll tell you, In sales in general, which every aspect of your life is, every aspect, including the window cleaning, but everything, if you're trying to date somebody right now, you're selling them on why they choose you. All transactions, interactions, everything is sales. Sales is just persuasion. It's explaining a point. And more importantly, it's removing doubt for the other person. This is the key to selling. It's removing doubt the other person has. So when somebody comes to you and you've answered questions they didn't ask, but they get to the end and they're like, yeah, well, you know, it's a lot of money. Let me ask my wife. Let me, you know, all of the... um, objections that people have to kind of stop the sale it's because they don't really know because if they did know this is the best thing everybody's gonna be happy this is amazing they'd be like yeah let's do it we've had people like that that we've gotten to the point where they're like yep i'm confident if they're confident they have no doubt if there's no doubt they'll buy because nobody if you have absolutely zero doubt in your head that this is the best choice best decision for anything you're not going to be like, eh, let me think of, because there's no reason. You're like, yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Like, you're not even going to stall. You're convinced. You have to remove doubt. This is why companies, I think, every company, but this is why companies have a seven day rain guarantee. This is why companies have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. This is why companies are fully insured and put it on everything. Those three things, rain doesn't dirty windows, so that doesn't need to be said. Uh, 100% satisfaction, I hope you're not doing jobs and then just leaving people unhappy, right? And yeah, you're a professional business. I sure hope you have insurance. Those are things that are basically universal to some degree. But putting them out there 
stops doubt because it's said. Right? Well, I don't know. You know, let me let me check with some of your referrals and see your reviews. Like, okay, well, they don't know if we do a good job. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And just so you know, we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you're not happy, you don't pay a dime. And we stand by that. We want to make sure that when we leave, you're absolutely happy with an amazing job. Well, well, I don't need to check reviews because I just was told everything I need to know. Right? You know, oh yeah, the last guy uh, I had here, you know, his ladder tipped over and it, it scratched my gutters all the heck. And he never showed up. I couldn't get a hold of the guy anymore. And, you know, we tried to get him to fix the gutters and he wouldn't. And, uh, it's just, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's unfortunate. A lot of people are out there doing services, just aren't ready for it. Um, for us, you know, we have a $2 million insurance policy. Not only that, we cover anything and everything. If we have, you know... Accidents happen, even if they're incredibly rare, and we stand by everything we do. And with that, we have the $2 million insurance policy, and uh, here is the uh, certificate of insurance, just so you know. Well, that was their concern. The last guy scratched some stuff, and he didn't take care. You know, I just wanted him to, like, acknowledge us. You know, we would have split it. I just, I just wanted my gutters to not... Absolutely. With us, you don't have to worry about that. Right? Removing someone's doubt allows them to make the decision. It allows them to know that they're doing the best thing they can do, the best choice, the best decision, the best, all of that. Remove the doubt. That's your entire key to sales. Your entire key to talking to every customer you have that's new is to remove their doubt on why they should use you. Because if they go, well, I think somebody else out there is better. You didn't give your USP. They got doubt. They doubt that you're the best. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if his price is, seems a little high. Okay, you didn't tell them the value. You didn't tell them what they're getting and overwhelm them with why they're paying what they're paying. They may not even know. Yeah, gosh, I don't know. You know, I've never heard of these guys before. They just popped up and, okay. Confidence in our skills, 100% satisfaction guarantee. Here's our reviews. Here's our this. Here's our... Any doubt can be corrected because you know you're the best. If you're not the best at something, if you're like, yeah, you know what? Our guys are just not good at uh, doing windows. They just get callbacks all the time. So I can't really say that. Well, be a better company. Fix your company. Fix your people. Like That should have been your first focus. You should absolutely know in your heart of hearts that you are the best choice for them. And if not, you need to fix some things, right? Got to go off real quick and do the shameless plug. I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. It's what I do and how I make my cheddar. It's putting in orders for people. So if you have an order or uh, if you're shopping and you put it in your cart, if you're logged in, just click in the checkout screen, save this cart. Little underlined words above the buttons. Shoot me a text at 862-312-2026 and say, hey, everything's in my cart. Let's do it. And I could take it from there. It costs you nothing extra to have me put your order in. But now you got like a dude. You got like a, a rep in your back pocket. I am here for questions. I'm here for pricing. I'm here for any guidance I possibly can. Hopefully you enjoy the podcast and everything else. And it's just a way that, um, you know, you can do one thing um, for me that I genuinely, genuinely uh, need and appreciate from you guys. So if you do want to buy supplies, I know you're buying probably from WCR anyway. It's the best place in the world for window cleaning supplies, so I hope so. Let me know. 862-312-2026 is my cell. And also, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. This magazine is, yes, a real paper magazine. It is in your mailbox every single month, and it comes with a sticker sheet every single month and they're window cleaning stickers and you can put them on your bucket and uh we're just nerds in the industry which is pretty great and that's what the magazine does so go to awcmag.com get the subscription to the magazine um and i genuinely appreciate it back to it so you've listened to somebody you remove their doubt what do you do you ask for the sale 
That is the part that a lot of people kind of don't do. Kind of more than not, when somebody doesn't want to be, air quotes, pushy, they don't get the clothes. They don't get to the point where it's like, okay, great, all right, let's do this. Asking for the sale is crucial because if they're not prompted, they're not always going to do it. They just don't know where to go, right? You're guiding them where to go. If you have enough cones and enough, you know, lighted flashlights and enough signage, you can conduct, you can show anyone where to go. And that's where these people are, right? So take them and ask them at the end. Everything's done. Okay, uh, great. Well, uh, we can actually get you in on September 2nd. Uh, it would be between 9 and 10 in the morning. Or if you do the third, I can do an afternoon appointment if that's better for you. Ask for the sale. And the how in asking for the sale, how you ask for it, how you put it out there, that's incredibly important. Because if I ask you a question in conversation, you will answer me with what I prompt you to say. If I say, do you like apples? You're not going to say uh, Buick Rendezvous. What? No, the question was, do you like apples? You're going to say yes or no. If I say, which apple is your favorite apple? You're not going to say yes. Now you're going to say the name, right? So when you ask, if you say, would you like to have your windows cleaned? They then say yes or no. If you say What day would you like your windows cleaned? Monday or Tuesday? They're not going to say no. Because they're to that point. They're going to say Monday or Tuesday. Because that's what they've been prompted to answer with. In conversation, you guide them on what they're going to say. You have to take control of the conversation. And this is not you being pushy or manipulative or any of that. It's in the end of the conversation, there should be a close. They called you because they want windows. They need their windows cleaned in their heads. They want them cleaned. They have reasons to get them cleaned. Awesome. So the best thing I could possibly do is clean your windows. Let's schedule you. That's it. That is absolutely where the process, the entire process goes. It's from questions You remove their doubt. You show them why you're the absolute best of the best. And then you ask for the sale. You close the sale. You get them in the book. You get them in the schedule. You finish this whole thing and say, hey, you know what? You called me because you want to clean windows. Guess what? We are going to put you in on clean windows. Here's the date. Here's the time. Boom, let's do it. Then you can go in and do your upsell. Then you can put them in the books. Go to the next call. This is why phone bids will take two minutes. You'll end with something in the books and you'll go on to the next one. When you're getting one or two calls a day for bids, you can go do personal, in-person. It's 30 minutes to an hour each person. When you think drive time, talk time, wait time, stopping everything what you're doing to go. In-person bids are incredibly expensive. For no reason. You get a window count. You can see it online. You, I mean, to penny pinch and get the exact same number to print, gotta be the, it doesn't make sense. So you do it on the phone, two minutes, done deal, in there, and done, you're on to the next one. Now, two people is not bad. But what happens when you get 50 calls a day? Can you answer 50 calls a day? Probably not with one person accurately. Or that's all they do. If you have a lot of people calling and a lot of things, why do you think that the big companies, big, genuinely big companies in window cleaning do not do in-person bids? It doesn't make sense. It's such a loss for them to do that. It makes zero sense. They have people who know with a few questions, send me a picture of the front of your house, do whatever. Some people like pictures. I've never had a customer send me a picture ever. You can give them a bid 
a price, an actual real price, and get them in the schedule, and they're done. And guess what? They don't have to call anybody else. They don't have to do anything else. They don't have to worry and spend any more time. They don't have to do any of that because you just did it. You just, they called you. You're the best choice. You told them why, and you're done. In and scheduled, and you asked for the sale, and you closed the sale. That is what your business is. Because if you go through all that, you tell them, oh, it's so great. And then they go, okay, I'll call you back. And you go, okay. And they leave. You didn't do anything. Now they have to go and do more work by calling somebody else. Do you think that anybody is like, um, let me think about it. And you go, okay. And then they hang up. And then they sit down on their chair and grab their pipe. And, and they start, you know, just think about this. Let me, hmm. And they sit there and think about it? No, they don't. Because what they were doing is they thought about it before they called you. In all your questioning, they thought about more things. And if you did the right stuff, they don't have any more questions. So if they have no questions, and you've convinced them that you are the best, there's nothing to think about. If you like Grant Cardone, he's harsh. I don't... I. I when I read his stuff, I, I, I understand what he's saying, but I take it at a little bit of a different. You know, his thing is, somebody says, I'd like to think about it. His objection would be like, well, I'll tell you, I must not have done something right. You know, if you have to think about it, that means I didn't answer one of your questions. What questions do you still have on this? Well, nothing, you know, I think it sounds good. I just want to take it. Well, if you know that it sounds good, why wait? We can get it done right now and get into, in, in essence, that is absolutely true. If there are no more objections or questions or anything, they know. You know, you're right. I don't know why I'm waiting or hesitating. Let's just do this. It's been a long, long time. I just need to do this. Let's go. Asking for the sale is just that. But the biggest piece to all of this is the confidence side. I have seen more companies lose things because of this part. If you talk to a customer, if you do a mock call, this sounds ridiculous, but if you are somebody who's gonna be doing a bid, have your friend call you as a customer, you know it's them, they know it's you, and you just do the conversation the same way that you would, and what they comes to their head, what comes to their head they say, what comes to your head you say, and you could bid their house, you could bid their aunt's house, they could have another place in mind altogether. You could go on Google, type in a random address, find a house, and then do a fake phone call sitting across from somebody to go over things and see how it plays out. The confidence in that is so much higher than when you talk to a customer. Because it's, yeah, it's, there's, there's nothing on the line for this one, right? So I'm super confident, chill, put it out. But confidence is what? puts it out. If I know for a fact that I am the greatest place to buy window cleaning supplies, which I absolutely do, then it is extremely easy for me to tell you why. Okay, why are you going somewhere else? If you're like, well, you know, it's, uh, it's, um, you know, well, they're, they're, uh, you know, I bought from them for, I could tell you all the reasons to buy from us. I can't. And I'm going to tell you that in confidence because I am. If you're not confident in what you're doing, like if you go and it's your first time bidding and you're like, um, so the price will be like, like, like $150. If you say that, no one's like, yeah, let's do it. They're like, oh, um, yeah, yeah, that's a little, like I'm instantly uncomfortable because I did not get confidence from you. Like, why are you not confident in this? People are like, well, I got to charge half because I'm new. No, you don't. If you come in, you're the expert. You're the expert. You've done research. You've been online. You've subscribed to American Window Cleaner Magazine. Maybe you listen to the podcast. You're an expert. What are you doing? Why are you not confident in yourself? You are the expert. Now, understand, confidence does not mean that you think you're the best. You think that you know everything because that's not the thing. That's not it. As a professional, just has to know. They don't have to know everything. You're always going to be learning. But be confident. Confident is what makes everything work 
in a yes, in a no situation. If you're unconfident, somebody says no. If you're confident, they say yes. If you've met a real confident person, a Tony Robbins of the world, everything he says you believe. Some politicians are like that. Everything that's said could be believed because of how they say it. Listen, remove doubt, ask for the sale, and be confident. That's it. That will increase your closing rate immensely. Everything. Commercial, route, residential, all of it. Because of that. So hopefully you do that. But I have another hopeful. Hopeful that you let me put your orders in. Because winter's coming. And uh, I have uh, a turkey to buy for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. So please buy your supplies from me uh, so I can get that turkey. And, you know, if, uh, if you put enough orders in, I could even get that fancy cranberry sauce in a can. Which, by the way, is the best cranberry sauce out there. It's the stuff in the can that when you serve it, it still looks like a can. Yeah. Anyway, my number is 862-312-2026. That's my cell. Please do... Um, Call me, text me, whatever. Let me put your orders in. It means the world to me. It's how I make my cheddar. So thank you in advance. And get a subscription to the AWC Magazine, American Window Cleaner Magazine. It's for the professional window cleaner. You're a professional window cleaner. Why do you not have this magazine? I don't get it. Go. AWCMAG.com. Get a subscription. It's 69 bucks and be a nerd like me. Yeah. And uh, hopefully... Um, until next week, you go out there and decide to start closing more jobs or work on your clothes because it can always be worked on. But more importantly, hopefully you go out there and be 